Um, okay, so hopefully you guys watched my other video with the blocking. Um, as you can see, I've changed my layers around, which GIMP won't let me do when I'm using this program apparently, and also when I'm using Join Me, which sucks. Um, I've also smudged the uh, points in the same sort of way that I smudged in the lighter. Um, now though, I'm going to work on my eye, so there's a quick and simple way to do eyes. You want to zoom in and get, whoopsie, get a smallish brush. I generally like having, oops, it's on smudge anyway. I generally like having um, it on a lowish opacity because then I can just build on top of it. Uh, because I've got the markings, it's already kind of dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose just a slightly darker brown and just color it in with the slightly darker brown. Like so, following the lines, which you should have learnt when you were in kindergarten. <laughs> um, then I'm going to go for an even darker brown. And I'm just going to go around the edges, like so. Especially over in the corners here. I might even have to do them darker. This just adds sort of like a body to it, just about I guess. I mean, I'm not quite sure how to describe it, you know. Um, then I want to get like a black, almost a black, Pro yeah, probably black. And I'm going to put in the pupil. Now horses do not have round pupils, they have elongated pupils, like so, but in this case it won't really particularly matter. Then I want to go something slightly lighter and just, oops, it's probably too light. And just put in like a nice sort of... Highlighty bit at the top here where the light's going to actually fall on the eye. And then I'm going to get white. And I don't really like using full white, but for highlights and eyes, because the thing is so small when you're looking at the line art from far away, you kind of want to have white, like immediate white. And you're just going to put in a few random dots and then we're just going to see how it looks. Oopsie, didn't mean to click that. See, too much white. Doesn't look very good, so I'm gonna exit. That looks alright. That looks even better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go redo that. And I mean you can keep playing around with the eye. You can change it so that you only have like grey or something. You can add more orange highlights, which is probably what I should be doing right about now. Just to give it a bit of body sort of thing, you know. You don't really want a a fully dark eye unless Unless you, I mean, it, sometimes that looks good, so. But I mean, that looks pretty good. Probably not the best it could be. I might actually take out some of that white. So I'm just gonna take it out like this. See, that looks alright. And I said we should save it, so <laughs> that might be a good idea. I don't know why my thing's decided it's not loading. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you not working? <sighs> this is annoying. Paintings. We're gonna call this guy a random name. I like calling them names. They kind of name themselves. His name's Rogue. Okay, so now we've got Rogue as he is. I'm going to add a little bit more to the lighter. So I'm just going to select the colour pick it and make it slightly lighter. This is just to add just a little bit more oomph to it sort of thing. I'm going to make the opacity quite low and that's going to be quite big. So we're going to put it along this back like that. And I'm going to put a bit on his belly like this. A little on his shoulder, a little off his neck. Just to give a little bit more of a body, I guess. You don't really want to do too much at this stage. And then you're going to go back and forth when you smudge this. Rather than around in circles. Because you don't really want to blend it per se. You just want to make it look like there's actually texture. I guess is the right word there. Um, now at this stage I'm also going to add a little bit more darker, so I'm going to do it on top of the lighter. 
my layout names are so creative, aren't they? <laughs> um, and I'm going to select the base again. I'm going to color pick the base. And always work from the base color, otherwise you're going to end up with a bunch of random colors. This is just simple though, so don't take this as gospel truth, you know? And I'm just going to put a bit darker underneath, say like the belly. Although you can lighten that up later. And just a little bit on the underside of this neck here, along the bottom of the jaw. And the flank a little, just so he looks a little more like a horse. Just so that he looks a little bit like he's got some texture to his coat. Um, how long is this video? Five minutes. Okay, well, I'm going to finish this video here and then I'm going to start working on detailing the face on the next video. So go check that one out.